Hi and welcome to a new bullet journal plan with me. Today we're going to set up my bullet journal for the month of October. I wanted to do something autumn themed and decided to go with a mushroom theme. I again prepared a bunch of fake stickers as I call them, since I have to use glue to paste them into my bullet journal. To make my stickers I use marker paper and my Uhuru markers. I also wanted to say sorry in advance, the lighting went a little bit crazy while filming, which I only realized when I was already done with the whole setup. For the cover page I sticked in a black sheet of paper to make the mushroom stand out more and to create a kind of mystical atmosphere. As always I added a mini calendar and of course the title. On the other half I pasted in a gouache painting I made, therefore I followed the August plan with me by Jenny Journals, I will link that video down below. Next is my monthly log, therefore I set up a calendar grid to have a box for each day that fits all my upcoming events, deadlines, appointments and birthdays. I decorated the page with lots of mushroom stickers and used the empty space on the right side to add in sections for some affirmations, my new self-care routine and what I want to improve this month. Now onto my goals page. On the left half I use my new craft paper washi tape to make two boxes, one for my October goals and one for my monthly to-do list. On the right side I'm setting up a section for each week of the month to track my progress in reaching my goals and finishing my to-dos. On this spread I'm setting up my spending log on the right side and some more random stuff on the left side. On one hand I'm making my milestones tracker to see what I've already accomplished and underneath I'm also making some space to write down notes about all my gardening stuff. I have to plant onions for next year this month, I have to cut back some flowers and my strawberries and I also can start planning for next year which I'm so excited for. I'm sure you've seen the layout for my spending log a thousand times by now. I have the table to track my expenses and income and I have two boxes, one being my shopping list and the other one being my wish list. Next is my habit tracker and my social media tracker. I'm setting up a bunch of mini calendars and when I did a habit I can cross that day off. I'm also leaving space to take notes about my social media content and video ideas and that's basically it for the spread.
this page is going to be my sleeping and productivity log. Top to bottom are the numbers standing for each day of the month and left to right the numbers standing for the hours. For my sleeping log I make a little dot at the time when I went to bed and another one on the time I woke up, connect them to a line and write down the number of how many hours I slept in total that night on the right side. My productivity log works basically the same way. I make a dot when I start a task and when I end the task and at the end of the day I can see how many hours I did productive things like working, cleaning and learning. And here we are at the final flip through for my October bullet journal setup. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any Bujo theme or video suggestions, please let me know in the comments. If you want to know what supplies I use, check out the description box to find a detailed list. Here you can also see the first weekly spread of October. I had to cut that part out while editing because the lighting was just too bad. If you want to see more of my art or my bullet journal spreads, you can click on another video or check out my Instagram at arts underscore melina or my Twitter page. Those links are also in the description. See you in my next video and until then, bye!